So. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So for many of us, school is just around the corner, which is very disappointing. Really disappointing. Which is why I'm making this video titled Melissa's Guide to Back to School. I don't know about you guys, but every single year before school, I promise myself this will be the year that I will be on top of things. I will get my homework done on time. I will just study super hard every night, stay super organized, and it never happens. But this year, my grade 11 year, I am going to make it work. The first thing you will need to have a successful school year is a place to store everything together. I know some people have lockers, but for those of you who don't, I bought myself a bag, and this is to carry around with me from class to class, just to keep my essentials so I won't have to stop my locker so much. Inside my bag, I have two pencil kits. One holds my stapler and my scissors and just little crafty things like that. My other pencil kit holds all my writing utensils and highlighters for class because those are, of course, very important and your teachers will be very mad at you if you forget those. I have this pouch here which holds a bunch of paper clips and just little clampy clippy things. And those are to keep my papers together because you don't want papers flying around everywhere in your binder or your locker or anywhere like that. This year I also invested in a lot of post-its because I am kind of forgetful when it comes to the school year. So I want to keep on top of everything because I have a lot going on this year. If lockers are optional at your school, I suggest you get one because it's a pain to carry all your stuff around from class to class without having anywhere to store it. I have four binders this year, so a locker will definitely come in handy. Binders are also a real pain to carry home, so I bought myself this folder to hold my homework and only my homework. So I will take my homework out of my binder, stick it in here, bring it home, and then once I'm done, I will take it back, and I won't have to carry my binder. Clever me. Clever me. Inside each of my binders, I have a notebook. I love this notebook. <laughs> I find loose leaf a pain in the butt because it always rips at the holes, and it's just a mess to have in your binder, because by the end of the year, you have just papers everywhere. So this year, in each of my binders, I have a notebook, which will keep all my papers together, and I am just really, really, really happy about it because I love this notebook. Isn't it cute? Look at the owl. Isn't it cute? <laughs> in pretty much every class, you get tons and tons of handouts, which are always a pain in the butt, too. So I brought myself lots of reinforcements so I can stick those around the holes, and they won't rip, and then I won't have a mess. In my binders, I also have dividers to keep my papers separate from each other so I can sort through everything easily and quickly. And I do have some Zwipes binders, so I have the Zwipes pens, and they're just, they're fun. I, I enjoy Zwipes, they're fun. <laughs> Along with wanting to keep my binders clean, I also want to keep my locker clean. So I bought myself this shelfy little baskety thing, which is really handy to store little things in just on the go. And then I also have my little hand magnets that I can stick notes or little pictures on in my locker because I want to keep my locker fun. I don't want it to be like a boring locker. I hate boring lockers. Thanks for watching my back to school video. I hope you have a good school year and hopefully I will too. Adios amigos. What kind of lockers do you guys have at your school? I mean, I have the tall and skinny ones, which they're okay. They're kind of hard to stick binders in sometimes. But yeah, I've never had a half locker before, which kind of sounds like they suck. I think they suck. <laughs>